This question appeared in ZAC 2015, it's question 8 out of the 33 questions in the Quant and DA section. It appeared from the topic linear and quadratic equations. It's an easy question. Let's have a look at the question. It's been a graph given to us and we've been given five answer choices, each of which is an equation. What we need to find out is find the equation of the graph from the data that's given. Right? One of the quick things that I would like you to observe at this point is usually this is your x axis, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis is the y axis. In this question, they swap the two axes. Keep this in mind. What we are going to do is we'll quickly jot down the given data and make some inferences based on that. Right? The first one, as I mentioned, is the x and y axis have been swapped. So the horizontal axis for us is y and the vertical axis in this question is your x axis. Now what we'll do is we'll jot down key inferences. One, the curve if you remember is a parabola. Usually the equation of a parabola is of the form ax square plus bx plus c. But that is when the y axis is the vertical axis and x axis is the horizontal axis. For us these two have been swapped. So for us the equation therefore is going to be of the form which is x is equal to ay square plus by plus c. So from the answer choices if you let us substitute and check out we are going to be looking at only those answer choices which resemble this thing right. So ay square plus by plus c x is equal to this is what should be our answers. Now, we'll note down certain points of interest to us, right? Like you to always do this in any of these questions where you're trying to figure out what the equation is from a graph that's given to you. Pick points where like x is 0 and y is 0 and correspondingly find out the value of the other coordinate. These are the points of interest to us. I'm going to jot down three points for us. The first one is when y is around minus 4, right? This is the point. y is around minus 4. This is the point your x is equal to 0. Similarly, look at the second one. When y is equal to 0, you have the value of x to be around minus 20. This is y is equal to 0. x is around minus 20. And the third point of interest for us is basically when y is between 2 and 3, this is 2, this is 3, the x value becomes 0. Right. So these are the things which you basically need to keep in mind, points of interest to us. Let's quickly look at what is the approach to this question. What we are going to do is, in each of the answer choices which resemble the form we said, which is x is equal to x is equal to ay square plus by plus c. Any answer choice that resembles this, first what I will do is, I will substitute x is equal to 0 and check out which of these things basically matches an answer which is close to minus 4 when x is equal to 0. If it does, I am not going to settle for it, I will validate it with one more thing. I will check out when y is equal to 0 in that answer choice. Am I getting a value which is close to around minus 20? That answer choice which satisfies both these conditions should be the answer. You can check with the third one also, but it is not needed. Two of these should be good enough for us. Right? So this is the approach we are going to take. With look at answer choices. Again, we'll start by narrowing down answer choices. Look at the answer choices which basically match our criteria. X is equal to ay square plus by plus c. Two answer choices match this. One is c and the second is e. A obviously is ruled out, it's a linear equation. B and D are of the form, Y is equal to AX square. So those are also ruled out. So we need to check out whether C matches those two points or whether E matches those two points. We're going to start with choice C. This is choice C for us, just 2Y square minus 40 is equal to X. As I mentioned, we'll validate it with the points. The first point is, I'm going to substitute Y is equal to minus 4 in this equation. If I substitute Y is equal to minus 4, X is equal to 2 into minus 4 square minus 40. So the answer that we are getting is equal to minus 8. But what is the answer we should have got? When y is equal to minus 4, y is equal to minus 4, it is approximately equal to 0, which is not the case here. So which means that if it does not satisfy 1, you don't even have to check for the other one. Only when it satisfies for 1, we are going to look for a validation using a second point. So we can eliminate answer choice C immediately. Now, what we are left with is choice E, but we'll check out whether it satisfies before we zero in on choice E. Choice E is x is equal to 2y square plus 3y minus 19. I'm going to do the same thing. Let's substitute y is equal to minus 4 in this. If I substitute y is equal to minus 4, this is the value. The value that we are getting is approximately equal to 1, whereas we know it's equal to 0. So it is around minus 4 is where it happens. We have taken it as exactly minus 4. Therefore, looks like we are on the right track. We'll validate it with the second point. 
second point i'm going to use to validate is basically i'm going to take y is equal to 0 substitute y is equal to 0 i'm getting a number which is minus 19 this is approximately minus 20 so again it looks like we are on the right track so basically both these points validate what we want so what should be the answer answer is choice c they are looking for exit preparation assistance the go to place is exit.ascenteducation.com be it free questions in your mailbox if you sign up for our yahoo groups or free videos with explanation for past year zat papers by subscribing to our youtube channels or if you are one of those who wants a classroom program join our classes at chennai and bangalore